but we have to sort the note real quick. La 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 la. Neto, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Hello. Feeling strong. What does that move? I don't know. She made it up. Neto, are you in there? Yeah, there you are. I'm right here. <laughs> what are we doing? Going gift shopping. For who? Our secret Santa. Who's your secret Santa? <laughs> you didn't hear that. You didn't hear <laughs> she didn't hear it. <laughs> no, I can't remember. Jovi. What? Who's your secret Santa? Elliot. Is he? Yeah. So you're finding something for Elle? Yeah. In the baby section at Target. Hi. So I was actually feeling a little overwhelmed at the mall today. I don't usually get that way. Sorry, it's really windy right now. I don't generally get like that, but for some reason I was feeling it today. I think there was just so much chaos going on. I had to come somewhere and clear my head. So I came out to my favorite spot in Iowa City, which is this beautiful park. I mean, look at, look at this place. That's a long way. I think a lot of where that anxiety came from was the fact that my view on consumerism and the mall and all that, it has completely changed over the years, especially over probably the last three years, two years. When I was younger, I always thought success was measured by how much stuff you have or the brands you wear and all that kind of stuff. I quickly realized as an adult, it really doesn't matter at all. It was getting super cold down there and windy, so I had to come back up here, heading back towards the car. I wish I, you know, what's the old saying? I wish I knew now what I didn't know then or something like that. And it's so true. I mean, I wish, I wish I didn't care about stuff. <laughs> For a long time, I cared about stuff and things and I appreciate things. I like things. Don't get me wrong. I would be a hypocrite if I was saying I didn't like stuff to a point. You know, I like camera gear. I like technology. I like innovation and stuff like that. I enjoy getting gifts and, and all that kind of stuff. To finish that thought, what I'm really saying is don't get caught up in stuff like this is a time of year we should be with our friends, our family, or whoever. And it's great to get gifts and all that stuff, but at the same time, don't put that pressure on yourself. Jovi and I were just sitting there taking a quick break and we noticed so many people stressing out like, oh, we gotta run here, we gotta run here, we gotta run here. It just really struck me today, that thought that your love and your time, like that is enough. That should be enough for people. More stuff isn't gonna make us happy. The gesture is great. The gesture is amazing. And if somebody really needs something and you get it for them, those are the kinds of gifts that are great. Like if somebody's been really, really looking for something all year long, they know it'll affect their life, it'll help their life, and they get that gift. Like that, those are the amazing gifts. If you're running around just to fill a stocking and say, okay, we need to 
we need to make it look good because that's what the Hallmark Christmas movie did. I love this time of year, but that kind of stuff, after a while this year, I don't know what it is, but the anxiety of it just, it just skyrocketed today. I'll be very upfront. I love how I, had, I just said all that stuff. And then now I actually need to go to the grocery store, but I am picking up stuff to make meals for the next few days. My parents are coming into town for Christmas and all that kind of stuff. So it's not just stuff, it's, it's food and that kind of thing. Off to the grocery store. Made it out of the store and now I have to go pick up pizza for Christmas Eve dinner. Now we have a tradition where every Christmas Eve, it came from my, my wife's parents used to do this all the time. And they actually do, instead of making a big meal on Christmas Eve and everything, they just do pizza and make it simple. But our favorite pizza place is closed tomorrow. So we asked them if they do like a half baked thing that we can freeze when we get home. We'll actually cook it tomorrow night and that way we can enjoy our favorite pizza place on Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna go grab that right now. Woo! I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my gosh. Even though it's half baked, it smells amazing. Jake, next time you're in Iowa City, you gotta try their cheese pizza. Absolutely amazing. Now I gotta go home and hopefully edit this vlog in time for tonight. Made it back home and to kind of conclude my thought, like I, I'm not against gift giving or anything like that. It's just, when you give something to somebody, make sure it's a meaningful gift. Don't just give people stuff for the sake of giving someone stuff. Don't make it an empty gesture by just giving somebody something random. Just to let you know, that is a message to myself, so I'm not trying to preach at anybody beyond me. If that helps you, great, but if you're in the same scenario I am, great, but just so you know, I'm yelling at myself right now. That is it for the vlog today though. I'm gonna go inside, see the kiddos some more, unload all the groceries and that kind of stuff, and just enjoy the time together. Tomorrow's vlog number 100, which is kind of a big deal. So thank you all for watching and I will see you tomorrow. You're feeling better, huh?